Gertrude Kalunga. Uh, I came from Kitwe. Uh, yes, so uh, I was told by a friend uh, that there is a man of God uh, in Chingola. And when I was encouraged, that's when I decided to come. Uh, the problems that brought me here um, are spiritual problems. Uh, whenever I sleep, I, I dream um, being married in dreams. I dream um, I'm in the ocean, in the sea. I see all sorts of things in my dreams. And then um, um, I, don't, uh, I don't see progress in my life. Uh, there is stagnation. Uh, whenever I apply for a job, I can't get one. Um, at first, I did production and operations management. I, I worked for some years. I stopped. I couldn't find another job. And then I decided to change my career. I'm now a student nurse. Then I, and then even my, I can't find a partner uh, because of the same problem. I'm a, I'm a single mother. Yes. So when it comes to relationships, I would be in a relationship with a man who would just be in good terms. From nowhere, I would just develop that thing of hurting them. Maybe I would just stop responding to their messages. I would just start avoiding them. Or it will, if I'll be the one in love, then it will happen that they'll be the ones to start avoiding me. It's been the trend from just the time I've been a teenager up to date. It's just been like that. Uh, I don't know how it happened. Just the time after I lost mom, I just started feeling different. I, whenever I, I eat things like beans, those ga things with gases, I would feel a different pain. That, and from that time, I've, I've been like this for over four years. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Faith Kalunga. I, I came from Kitwe to Chingola to attend the service. I was introduced by a friend I met who came here and she got delivered. Uh, the problem that brought me here, I was going through rejection. Uh, things haven't been moving in my life. It has been stagnant for years. Right now as I'm talking, this, I've been uh, jobless for over eight years after graduating. Nothing has been happening. Concerning my family, we all go through um, we go through spiritual attacks where you you find that you are waking but you can't see why you are waking. Those who are, that, those that are waking they can't see any progress. We tend to face uh, financial challenges. You have money but you won't even know how that money is going to finish. Then you just keep on fighting. You fight each other just like that. And then we just, the, our lives are just complicated. So I decided to visit the man of God here in Chingola here at um, the family of Jesus for all the believers. So I explained my problems to the man of God. He prayed for me. I've been trying to come to this place, but I don't know what has been pulling me back until uh, on a Saturday, I decided to, to, to say that this Sunday I must attend and see the man of God. So after I told the man of God about my problems, he prayed for me.
done Just to her? leave me now. You have done what to her? Yes, leave me. Fire leave all over my body. Me. Just leave me. What have you done to this lady? <laughs> What do you mean if you say they are yours? No! Who give you these people? Hmm? What do you mean if you say they are yours? Can I see the people of this one? Are they related? Hmm? They're the same people. Hmm? Okay, bring that one here. Please, they are related. Bring that one here. Why should I leave you? What have you done to this family? By who? Who gave these people to you? What happened? What happened? She made the covenant with us. Leave us alone. Okay, she made the covenant with you. She gave us all of them. Leave us. Leave us. She gave you one of them. Listen to me. You say the grandmother gave you one of them. No, all of them. All of them. Yes. Okay, tell me the agreement. What was the agreement? And what, what did you give to the grandmother for you to, to be given the whole entire family? She could not give birth. Uh -huh. Then we gave her a child. Uh -huh. And she told us that she would give us an entire generation. She would do what? She gave us our entire generation. Oh, the whole entire generation. Will you stop that nonsense? You see, this is the problem that you give birth to the people who be under a bondage if you are impatient. If you maintain your relationship, you'll be like Zachariah. You'll be like, you know, Manoah. You give birth to a blessing. Look at this beautiful, you know, uh, children who are suffering because of what happened long time ago. We are here to collect this. This is why we made the covenant with Jesus here. Okay. Why did you allow these people to come here? Hmm? They have been trying so hard, but they have been failing. Okay. Yes. They have been trying to come here. You were yes, stopping sir. them. For so long they've been wanting to come. Oh, yes, but today we they are here. Confusion among them. Oh, they are how many? They are five. Oh, oh, they are ours who have married. Them. Okay, they are five. I can sue. Where is the other three? <laughs> they are there. Where? Oh, Where are they? Oh, One is a. Uh, she, she remained home. Uh -huh. And the brothers, uh, they are far from here. Uh, okay. Uh, are they married? The brothers are married. What they about stubborn. What about this? Okay, two uh, men are married. Yes. All the women are not married. But they won't give birth again. Okay, we many are married uh, without children. They are, they've got children. Hmm. But we have closed their wives' wombs. They won't give birth again. Okay. Uh, these three are not married. Who is the cause? <laughs> they are married to us. They are married to you? Yes. Who are you? Uh, these three girls. Uh, Who are you? Uh, Who are you in this family? Yes. You say you are a witch doctor. Uh, yes. They came to you. Yes. Uh, and you make the, 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 the grandmother to be pregnant. Yes. Okay. yes. You made a mistake. Here we don't allow this. We save Jesus. Remove your things now. Fire in the name of Jesus all over your body. You spirit of witch doctor. Fire! You demonic covenant. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus came to break this evil covenant. Whatever you used to mark their body, you take their blood. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. They will marry. Come on. Leave them. Out in the name of Jesus.
Be free in Jesus name. You will marry my sister. Jesus is your husband now. He will give you a man that will be a husband to you. Okay. Are you married? No. Why? I'm engaged. You are engaged? Yes. Okay. This is the first relationship? No. There yeah, are how many? <laughs> A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. At what stage where you lose those relationships before now? Uh, it's just months. It doesn't go far. Okay. This yes. one is how old? This one as I'm talking right now, it's over. It's over? Yes. Mm, the man is not interested. Yes. You said uh, these people, you are five. You said these people cannot marry because they are yours. You said the grandmother came to you because she was having a challenge to conceive. Then she was made pregnant by you and then the grandmother promised you to say, oh my children, my generation will be yours. What do you know about your grandmother and the, 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 the future of the family? I don't know. Where is your mom? She's late. She's late. Grandmother? She's late as well. Mm -hmm. Are you married? No. Mm -hmm. You said you have been trying to come to this place, but uh, confusion will come. Yes. Are you working? No, I'm not working. You? Uh, I'm not working either. Okay. You said you made a covenant with the grandmother that these people will never marry. And then your two brothers who are married, you said you have closed their home. Their wives will never give birth again. What do you know about this? Nothing. Give me your hand. You are delivered from that covenant. Is the, 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 the confession is that your grandmother was having a challenge to conceive. Then she went to a witch doctor, and the witch doctor prepared what? Concussion, and gave it to your grandmother, and then she became pregnant. So that evil is claiming whoever came from that house to be his own property. But you are delivered. Are you married, my sister? No, I'm not. Go well, give me your hand. God bless you. Will you be, you know, I mean, I, I want to give you a covenant badge. Are you going to wear them? Yes. Give me a covenant badge. Two, please. Stand up. No, stand up. You know, when I talk about this covenant, people with, you know, that uh, questionable understanding, they thought it was one of the things that we do as, no. We need to disconnect ourselves from this evil covenant they made before our time. We are going through what we are going through because of someone did in the past. We are making a covenant to collect the mistake they made. Because evil spirits are using the respect that we have for our mothers and fathers to torment us. So you are a covenant child. You are no longer part of that evil one. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. The spirits uh, manifested. They confessed what they've done to me that I'm married to the same spirits. And uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't feeling okay. I wasn't fine. I'm, I'm, I'm always disturbed in my life. But after the prayers, I felt so good. I felt that inner peace in my heart. Yeah, so uh, when I was being delivered, the demons manifested that I have anger in me. So uh, usually what happens is um, 
whenever I just tend to have like a small problem, I would react in a different way such that even if I was expecting to receive something good, I would lose it just like that. I, I usually fight with my family, my siblings, just over small, small issues. We tend to differ. So after being prayed for, I feel much better. So after the prayers, I'm expecting God to, to do, uh, to, bless, to bless me, to have a, the inner peace. I, won't, I, I don't expect to be frustrated because I usually used to, I used to get frustrated most of the times. You're expecting this, you can't get it. You're expecting that, you can't get it. But after being delivered, I expect to see, um, to see change in my life. And I really, really thank God that I came today because I feel better than the way I came. Uh, before the man of God prayed for me, I used to have dreams, like I would dream of snakes. I would dream I'm with a the man, then when it comes to reality, it's nothing. I would just wake up, fight with my man and all that. But after the man of God has prayed for me, I feel delivered and I feel light. Like things has, have started changing in my life. I feel the, the, in my heart like the peace is totally restored. So uh, here we have stood in the gap for our family and the entire family has been delivered. Yes, amen. And I would just want to encourage all, all of you viewers that if you are in the same situation or any different situation, maybe if you are sick or anything, I would encourage you to visit the man of God. Uh, he's so powerful. He's changed my life. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I would encourage viewers to subscribe on uh, to subscribe on YouTube, to all, and also follow on Facebook. Uh, you get connected so that you get blessed because we also get blessed as we get connected. I would love to encourage every person out there that is going through the same challenges to come to Chingola and see the man of God and. Uh, I followed up on uh, YouTube, you can subscribe to Promise TV, and there I got encouraged. I advise everyone out there to follow the man of God.